guys if you are a youtuber or you're planning to open a youtube channel in the future then this video is for you please stay tuned like this video share and subscribe <laughs> first time seeing this face then you're highly welcome please do me a favor to like this video share and subscribe to my channel so guys by seeing the title of this video you already know what you want so the video is all about how youtube um, stopped monetizing my channel because i had copyrights and stuff like that so i break the laws of youtube and if you are and if you are a youtuber going through something like this and maybe you're just uh you know you're just new into youtube and you don't know much then i think this video is meant for you so i'm gonna start by saying that please to subscribe subscribe to this channel guys subscribe like it don't even share if you don't want to but like so, the video <clears throat> yeah the the stop me from monetization it was because i break the policies and if you are a youtuber like i said if you break the policies you're gonna be actually i want to talk to most of the new youtubers that don't know the laws and the rules of youtube <clears throat> YouTube actually stopped monetizing my channel. I was monetized last year and by the beginning of this year, they stopped monetizing my channel. And that is because I break the rules. So talking about YouTube rules, I'm going to go straight ahead to tell you what you're supposed to do and what you're not supposed to do on YouTube. Especially if you are a new YouTuber that I don't know you right and left like I was and I break down. So guys, YouTube stopped monetizing my channel because I went live and I was showing videos of a, of a match. <laughs> I'll call it like that. I was showing videos of a match though I was talking on the video, but they still went ahead. Let me adjust my camera. They still went ahead to, to actually stop monetizing my channel. Reason being that I had copyright. Copyright means you're taking someone else's video and you upload on YouTube. That is the meaning of copyright. So at one point in time, you can delete copyright on your videos by... I haven't made a video of that, but there are a lot of videos on YouTube that you can search on how to... on how to... Uh, to remove copyright on your video i was saying i was live i went live like three times and the first warning they gave me was like the video had a copyright and i was like i just went and removed it like it was nothing you know and the second one i had a strike on my videos i'm like but I was actually trying to edit the video. I don't know, but I was live. I was just showing the my 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 front TV, and I was talking while viewers were responding and stuff like that. But the first one they gave me a strike, and I was like, I shouldn't do something that it was gonna ruin my channel, you know. So I was curious, and I went ahead the next morning to move all the copyright claims I had on those videos, which I. I actually did and I thought everything was okay and the next day I tried to go online live and YouTube told me I could not go live which that was really disturbing and I was wondering like what was going on and I was confused and later on my sister told me I have to go on my computer to write an exam because she was also live and YouTube stopped her from going on live which she couldn't go live but i could go live so when she went on computer on her on her youtube studio they told her she needed to write an exam which she also asked me to do but i wasn't seeing a reason to do so she actually wrote the exam and she passed and she was able to go live but she didn't want to go live because she didn't want something to happen all over again because they blocked her from going live and made her videos to have copyrights so guys she, she stopped going live and she asked me to go and write the exams but i don't know i didn't see reason to do that because my videos i could go live and 
yeah i would already removed the copyrights on my videos which were clear and so i didn't see reasons to write or take those exams and after like two days i noticed my channel was not being monetized youtube told me that i could not be monetized i'm gonna show you how it works and how it looks like and i was like confused like for the past three months i was trying to figure out what to do i went on youtube trying to search a lot of videos that could help me but actually no one did no 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 video actually helped me to get through what i was going through so what i actually did was was they asked me to apply for an appeal the first one was an appeal that i should make a video saying what my channel was all about which i did i cannot play the video because it was told i shouldn't make it public so i just upload the video on youtube and then i copied the link and went and pasted it on i'm gonna show you where i pasted it i pasted it and then the next day i now applied so um in the next morning i got up the said rejected that i should we apply i should apply for an appeal again which i did and the next time it was rejected i'm like what am I supposed to do? So um, the third time that I applied, they said I should delete some videos and and edit some videos, and then they were gonna approve. Not like they were gonna approve. They're gonna review my channel and see if I'm fit to be monetized. And then I deleted all the videos that I went live. I delete. I actually deleted every single video. And it still did not work out the way it was i i was still rejected i mean i did it like three times but at the end of the day i was still rejected so i was like what am i supposed to do and till i met this one guy who, who actually said it was not about deleting the videos or trying to edit some videos or whatsoever so what he asked me to do was so what i'm trying to say if that is that if you are a youtuber do not copy people's video and post on your video without trying to edit it or or doing other stuff with it if you want to be a successful youtuber then you have to make your own videos if you even if you don't know how to make your own videos and you want to use other people's videos to grow then you have to try to know how to edit the videos so you don't get stuck because there are some people who are actually struggling with trying to monetize the channel due to the fact that they had to copy other people's video and month after month and after month you're gonna be applying and applying and if you don't know what you're supposed to do then you are gonna be rejected all the time so my next video is gonna be telling you how i overcame this this period like how i came trying to apply for an appeal yes i didn't make a video but it did not work i deleted my videos but it did not work so i'm going to show you in the next video what you're supposed to do if you are trying to apply for an appeal to get back your monetization yes i did i did get back my monetization and I'm going to tell you what I did in the next video. So please stay tuned and do not forget to give this video a thumbs up. Thank you all for watching and see you guys in my next video. Bye.